Tashiznit, in the heart of the city, obscured by the shadow of towering skyscrapers, there stood a record store that time had forgotten. It was a sanctuary of legends, of whispers among the hip-hop purists in the neighborhood, a place where the soul of the old school was preserved, like sacred relics. Eugene, a devotee whose lifeblood was the rhythm and poetry of classic hip-hop, found himself in the musty aisles of this store. Amidst the grooves of forgotten albums and the dust of ages, he discovered a rare pressing of Doggy Style, an album he knew beat for beat. This copy, however, throbbed with an unsettling energy, as if it were alive. The stooped store owner, with weary eyes that seemed to carry the burden of untold stories, cautioned Eugene. That record there, he warned, his voice a gravelly whisper. It's cursed. Belonged to a soul who fancied himself the true Shiznit. Vanished into the air, leaving nothing but this venal behind. Eugene, with the skepticism of the modern age, laughed it off. Yet, as he played the record that night, a twisted, haunting melody filled his room. Not the iconic beats of the Shiznit, but something darker, something other. With each spin, Eugene's reality unraveled, the city outside devolving into a gritty tableau of its early 90s self. Shadows crept and danced with a life of their own, and Eugene began to see him. The lost artist, a spectral figure trapped within the vinyl sheen. As he was pulled deeper into a trance, Eugene saw the streetlights flicker their glow casting long, sinister shadows that seemed to reach out to him. The clock ticked backward, the modern cityscape eroding away to reveal the raw, urban canvas of the past. Eugene knew he had to act. He spent days buried in the city's archives, unearthing the saga of a forgotten rapper who dared to challenge Snoop Dogg for the title of Tha Shiznit. It was a challenge that ended in a mysterious studio session where ambition and rivalry sparked a supernatural event, leaving one spirit bound to the cursed record. The lyrics of the distorted song hit a message, a plea for release through a lyrical duel. Eugene, armed with knowledge and a passion for the art, crafted his own verses, each word a step towards liberation each rhyme a key to the shackles that held the lost rapper's soul. Underneath the sickly glow of the same neon sign that had witnessed the downfall of the artist, Eugene rapped with the weight of salvation on his tongue. The vinyl spun in reverse, the world holding its breath as the spectral figure took form, bobbing to the rhythm of Eugene's heartfelt verses. With the final word spoken, the figure raised his hand, his fingers brushing against the fabric of the mortal world one final time. A gale swept through the warehouse, a gust filled with the voices of every rapper who had ever laid their soul over a beat. It swirled around Eugene and Shadow, a cyclone of legacy and redemption. And then, as suddenly as it had come, it was gone. Shadow was released, his form dissipating into the night, leaving behind a silence that was both poignant and profound. The vinyl, now just a piece of history, lay silent on the turntable, its curse lifted. Eugene stood alone amidst the echoes of the past, the weight of his endeavor settling upon him. He had not only freed a trapped spirit, but also reclaimed a piece of forgotten history. The story of the Shiznit, once a tale of rivalry and loss, had found its final verse in the redemption song of Eugene, the unassuming librarian turned lyricist who had unraveled the echo of a legacy. As dawn broke over the city, the first light of morning glittered off the skyscrapers, and Eugene walked home, his steps light, his heart unburdened. He had ensured that the legend of the Shiznit 
would continue to pulse through the heart of the city, not as a haunting refrain, but as a harmonious whisper of unity and closure in the grand tapestry of hip-hop's saga.